hey guys welcome back to sports bar and uh, this is one of our unplanned videos uh, i was just looking uh, at statistics of our indian players uh, from like 2011 to 2013 and i came across gautam gambhir's stats and uh, yeah i thought it was uh, pretty much unfair or maybe gautam gambhir was very unlucky to be dropped from the team from what uh, after what he did in 2012 mm. so yeah regarding that i'm going to make a video i'll be writing an article as well uh, so you you guys will have a better clarity so yeah we'll talk about gautam gambhir if you have anything to add Uh, I think so. I think so. You know, Gautam, uh, Gautam Gambhir. You know, where he started his career was over. You know, when after that, Shikhar Dhawan scored that one eight seven against uh, Australia in Mohali. Because you know, after that, you know, we had uh, Rohit Sharma in the opening. We had Murli Vijay was in great form that time. Test. If I'm talking about combined, Rohit Sharma we got uh, that time to open. We got Murli Vijay. We got uh, Shikhar Dhawan. So again, you know, I think so. After that, you know, and Seva was also you know currently down on form. So again, mm-hmm. after that, you know, after that, Shikhar Dhawan's one eight seven. I think so. After that, that downfall came for came for Gambhir, and it hit it hit it hit very hard for him. If you talk about intensity, yeah, exactly. Uh, it was uh, more Gautam Gambhir was more of. unlucky uh, than uh, bad performances i'll feel i'll talk about what gautam gambhir did in 2012 you know gautam gambhir was uh, mm-hmm. india's second highest run scorer in 2012 and uh, till 2012 december gautam gambhir was uh, among top 10 uh, icc batsmen and uh, yeah nobody expected gautam gambhir to be kicked off from the team uh, just after three bad failures against pakistan mm-hmm. that uh, game in which every batsman failed except for mahendra singh dhoni who scored 150 mm-hmm. uh, you know india played a series against england yeah. where gautam gambhir had a decent out, decent outing uh, but india failed that series mm-hmm. india lost the series to one and uh, then mm-hmm. india played a series against pakistan which again india lost the uh, series by 2 1 again and uh, two continuous home ge- uh, home series defeats uh, certainly brought transition period and uh, dis- difficult decisions were to be taken mm-hmm. uh, but uh, so i i personally did not believe gautam gambhir would be uh, dropped from the team and would never get the chance to play for india again um if you look at the pakistan series you know it was very difficult for batsmen to bat on because again indian bowlers were also dominating pakistan batsmen if you look at that way i think so yeah. i remember one one third match i think so uh, india had made only 160 runs and pakistan you know batted uh, yeah, yeah. and india they lost by 10 runs so again i think so that was uh, a very bad play for batsmen but again if you lose uh, two consecutive home series i don't think so mm-hmm. sorry i don't think so that um, a team is gonna you know to remain the same they are going to be changes and mm-hmm. there are going to be some huge changes and of course uh, gautam gambhir was one of them you know to uh, to you know sort of you what you can say a victim of that of the changes exactly and uh, like i said it was a transition period and transition period would mean that difficult decisions were to be taken players like tendulkar sehwag all mm-hmm. these guys were at decline uh, tendulkar was going to retire uh, rahul dravid had retired in 2012 vivek lakshman had retired so it was difficult for uh, selectors and mahendra singh dhoni to fill so many spots but yeah i i i believe it's uh, sad for gautam gambhir to be dropped uh, someone like gautam gambhir who had scored 5000 runs and uh, yeah uh, what he was like 30 years old uh, mm. he was 30 years old in 2013 he was going to be 31 in october so it was sad for him to be dropped like that because had gautam gambhir continued gautam gambhir would have played like uh, till 2017 or 18 he would have scored 8000 or 9000 runs easily but uh, sadly that did not happen and uh, it has more to do with shikhar dhawan than to uh, than with mahendra singh mm-hmm. dhoni i'll say that because uh, like you said shikhar dhawan mm-hmm. had got a chance to play against australia and that was the series which gautam gambhir missed due to an injury please injury. Uh, yeah we need to know that gautam gambhir missed that series due to an injury and not because he was dropped and uh, yes uh, shikhar dhawan accepted the challenge with open arms he scored that 187 runs and uh, with a strike rate of like 100 and mm-hmm. that was the perfect inning you play in an odi so mm-hmm. selectors got what they were looking for he was a like to like replacement for gautam gambhir shikhar dhawan was young and he was performing so uh, on what basis do you think uh, you are going to keep shikhar dhawan out of the team and uh, that's that's that was the mm-hmm. quest answer of uh, to the question which uh, nobody could have uh, you know nobody mm-hmm. asked that, uh, nobody could have answered that question so that was the reason why shikhar dhawan had got a chance to play in the champions trophy where he was the highest run scorer and the moment he was the highest run scorer it was a uh, time drop for gautam gambhir yeah, because uh, like i said okay. he was a like by like replaced uh, again if you look at you know i don't think shikhar dhawan was a replacement for gautam gambhir i think so rohit sharma was a replacement of gautam gambhir because the way rohit sharma and gautam gambhir batted i think so not uh, the technique i'm talking about there you know a pace of the innings how they you know build the innings i'm talking about that so i think so rohit sharma was a replacement for gautam gambhir 
But Shikhar Dhawan, you know, he was such a, he was a replacement for Vela Seva because again, we all know uh, India needed you know one of the opening batsmen you know, who can who can just you know mm-hmm. make use of power play, who can play shots uh, from the get go. Again, I think so you know after, because uh, Virat uh, Virat Seva was actually declined, I think so Shikhar Dhawan got a uh, got a place instead of him, and Rohit Sharma was given a chance to open. And he took it with both hands. So again, uh, it's not. Uh, it, it is. It is one of the fault because that Shikhar Shikhar the one you know, uh, mm-hmm. actually playing too well. But again, you know, Rohit Sharma also you know played a hand because again, uh, similarly, like like to I think I see you know Rohit Sharma and Gautam you know in the same category you know in the same slow building in each take your time, uh, access the situation you know build a total then again go for a total. Mm-hmm. So again, uh, I think so in that kind uh, Rohit Sharma and Gautam Gambhir are similar and I think so because of you know Rohit Sharma has has a technical ability little bit. And to maintain that left and right hand combination, I think Suraj Sharma was selected in place of Gautam Gambhir. Uh, yeah, that might uh, be a reason as well. But uh, I thought Shikhar Dhawan and Gautam Gambhir, because both the batsmen were left-handed batsmen, mm. uh, the, both the players could play according to the situation. Yeah. Uh, but in tests, of course, Shikhar Dhawan was a replacement of Gautam Gambhir Gautam only Gambhir. because uh, Gautam Gambhir was injured. This is why they brought Shikhar Dhawan, a left-handed batsman. And uh, yeah, like in that, like we saw in the Champions Trophy, Shikhar Dhawan was. Mm. India's highest run scorer. Then uh, after the Champions Trophy, uh, India played a series against Australia, where Shikhar Dhawan did really well. Uh, he mm-hmm. scored a hundred. He scored a ninety-five and uh, some sixty runs in that final ODI. So mm-hmm. that was the final nail in the coffin of Gautam Gambhir's career, I feel. And uh, it has more to do with Shikhar Dhawan, I'll say, than it has to be uh, with Mahendra Singh Dhoni because mm-hmm. Shikhar Dhawan really did well when he had gotten the chance. And uh, talking about Gautam Gambhir. Uh, it would have been better if they asked Gautam Gambhir to bat at number three instead of Virat mm-hmm. Kohli. They could have had that left and right hand combination in the opening with uh, Shikhar Dhawan and uh, Rohit Sharma, and uh, Gautam Gambhir at three and Virat Kohli at four. Uh, it would have been a perfect left, right, left, right combination because see, you have Shikhar Dhawan, Rohit Sharma in the opening left and right mm-hmm. hand combination. You have uh, Gautam Gambhir at three if Shikhar mm-hmm. Dhawan gets out, and uh, you have Virat Kohli at three if Rohit Sharma gets out, and. Uh, like that, if you had played, then you you would have had Rohit Sharma, Shikhar Dhawan, uh, uh, Gautam Gambhir at three, mm-hmm. uh, Virat Kohli at four, uh, Suresh Raina at five, Dhoni at six, Jadeja at seven. Then you see left, right, left, right left, combination right, left, right, left, uh, right. till number seven, and uh, that could have been done as well. But uh, but I guess uh, Dhoni was looking beyond Gautam Gambhir, and mm-hmm. uh, he saw future in Dhawan and uh, Kohli instead of. Um, I think so. You know, I remember that time. You know, I think so. India had problem. You know, to get that number four batsman because again, we all want to see where fix who will buy who will bat at number four because again, number five would be Suresh Raina was batting at number six. No, no actually, Raina. the problem uh, that time was opening pair because uh, both the uh, sorry both Virender Sehwag and uh, Gautam Gambhir had failed that series against Pakistan, and uh, yeah, that was the wake up call for the Indian team. I'll say, and uh, that was the period uh, when difficult decisions were to be taken. Yes, but again, I think so. You know, Gambhir at three, so that would have hampered Suresh Raina and Dhoni in some sort. Again, you figure you get left right, left right, left right combination. You can get it any sort of way. But again, Gambhir at three, Virat Kohli at four. Again, then the Rani was you know one upcoming batsman. You know, at that time, you know, where if you if you talk about like that, the Rani was an upcoming batsman who could bat at number four. But I think so Dhoni mm-hmm. bat for the Rani. I think so instead of uh, Gautam Gambhir, I feel that. Yeah, that happened uh, in 2014-15 season uh, when Suresh Raina was uh, rested in a few seasons. But uh, but since we are talking about Gautam Gambhir, Gautam Gambhir at three would have been perfect because uh, Gautam Gambhir used to bat at number three for like uh, two or three years, uh, even before the World Cup. Uh, Rohit, uh, sorry, Virender Sehwag and Sachin Tendulkar used to open the innings with Gautam Gambhir was at three and Virat Kohli was at four. So uh, so it wouldn't have hampered anything, I feel. But uh, Suresh Raina would have been pushed down to number five. Mm-hmm. Uh, which would have hampered his growth. Maybe that was the reason mm-hmm. why uh, Dhoni thought uh, it was important to look beyond Gautam Gambhir. And don't forget, you know, why Dhoni had to make the decision because again, uh, even though individually you know, they are they were back at great batsmen, again it's a team sport. So again, uh, if if I, and fielding was one of the you know, main aspect that Indian Indian fans mm-hmm. always criticize that fielding is weak, fielding is weak. Even though batting and bowling is good, fielding is weak. So again, I think so. Dhoni would have you know looked at that way that Krishan is a great mm-hmm. uh, good fielder, Rahan is a great uh, good fielder. Again, mm-hmm. because again, uh, it's a team sport, and if a players find one leak, they will target that link, and you will just get destroyed. So again, in that in that case, you know, I think so. Then Dhoni would have gone for Rahane and Raina instead of Gambhir. Exactly, because uh, Gautam Gambhir as a batsman, uh, he had uh, absolutely mm-hmm. no problems, and uh, he was only 30 years old, mm-hmm. meaning he had uh, like five or six year cricket uh, still left in him. I believe he should have gotten a chance uh, in uh, in Champions Trophy instead of Murli Vijay, at least as a backup opener. 
he should have gone to england uh, and uh, even after that had he gotten a chance to play he would have scored like 3000 runs minimum he would have scored mm-hmm. that's what i feel because uh, mm-hmm. that that was the kind of batsman he was uh, he had scored 5000 runs he was in form in 2012 you remember that uh, cb series mm-hmm. where CB people series. talk about people talk about virat kohli's 100 against mm-hmm. sri lanka but uh, people don't talk about gautam gambhir who had played an exceptional hand uh, to virat kohli in that inning as well and the other games as well he had scored like 91 against australia 92 against sri lanka uh, both mm-hmm. both these innings while chasing so lot of people miss talking about gautam gambhir in that way um and if you look at you know i think i think you know you would have got chance you know, after that after even t20 is again there some was not opening in t20 so someone other was opening during that period so again you know gambhir would have been a perfect fit because again he had a great ipl you know in 2012 2013 exactly so he had all he had one and orange cap also as well in in somewhere in that somewhere in that period so again he was one of the great captain you know and he could have been you know uh, So because they had, they had Dhoni, uh, they had Kohli. We all know Kohli mm-hmm. was going to be the new captain. Again, you know they had Kohli. You know Kohli would have had you know Gambhir and uh, Dhoni also along with that. You know, tell him you know what to do. So again, I think you know at least in T20 season you know, would have got chances. You know because again, Virat Singh got chance, uh, Ashish Nehra got chance. So why not Gambhir? Gambhir. Why not? 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 but uh, and he did get uh, fruits but uh, he had he had a chance to play for indian test match cricket uh, and uh, mm-hmm. that does not make sense to me because gautam gambhir was more of a white ball player than a red ball player and uh, that's what they went wrong and uh, he went to england and uh, he failed miserably there as well and uh, when he had gotten a chance to play for india again in 2016 he uh, he played a few handful innings then uh, he got out for a duck and then he never played for india so yeah gautam gambhir was extremely unlucky uh, the the contribution he did to the indian cricket team is immense and uh, yeah please uh, don't you cannot judge just judge him by his mm. numbers because the numbers could have been even better mm. uh, he was absolutely fantastic batsman okay and he was one of the great batsmen chat to you know see his career end in a short way uh, mm. uh, in, you know i noticed man but yeah the, this is cricket again don't know this kind of stuff happens to players a uh, lot of this had, this had happened to a lot of players but again we can't uh, point at to you know point to finger mm. to someone you know blaming them But again, he had a great career. Let's uh, enjoy that career. Uh, maybe exactly. we can watch his. Uh, old, yeah, you know. it's true. Exactly. We cannot blame anyone for Gautam Gambhir's uh, drop from the Indian cricket team because since Gautam Gambhir was injured, uh, Shikhar Dhawan got a chance, and uh, like we all know, Shikhar Dhawan was absolutely fantastic at his opening position. He scored those hundreds. Uh, he did well at the Indian team in the Champions Trophy. He did well at the World Cup. Mm-hmm. So there was no way you're gonna drop Shikhar Dhawan after performing like that. So yeah, that's. That's the reason why Gautam Gambhir was unlucky. So yeah, that's what we have for you in this video. I mm-hmm. hope uh, what I said was clear. I'll be writing an article as well, like I said. So we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Peace out.